Alright, welcome back to my next touch designer tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, make these visuals that I uploaded recently. Um, so it's basically this um, point cloud or like particle cloud that is reacting to the music, to any file file that you're loading in. And in this case, uh, it's the song that I uploaded recently and that I made in Touch Design uh, in Ableton. <laughs> not this one, not in Touch Designer. Okay. So um, before I start, I just wanna say um, one thing, <laughs> and that is that this whole thing isn't running, at least not for me, in uh, 60 FPS. So not in like real time it's running at 30 fps and i don't actually know why this is so like um the weird thing is that um I, it, it doesn't matter how many particles i put in here like it can be five or five hundred thousand and it doesn't like it barely changes the fps i've tried a lot of things but it doesn't really change change anything so i'm I, I guess it's something with my graphics card. I don't know. If you find the solution, if you find out how this works with 60 FPS, then please let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna rebuild the whole network with you, as always. And yeah, hope you have, have fun. And me too. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave three things here. And then I'll and these two things and turn off this for now. And on the palette, like open the palette here. And here on the tools, uh, find particles GPU and drop that in here. So that's the starting point and uh, the main thing, basically. All right, so on the particles, I'm gonna change a lot of stuff later, but I'm gonna start with the top network before that. All right, so I'm gonna attach a transform no <laughs> I'm gonna change something in the container here and that's the width and height so I want this to be 1920 by 1080 and the same on the render you don't have to do this if you don't have a f uh, pro license but that's all right okay so um, now I'm gonna attach a transform here and change the alpha to one and turn the comp over background color on all right, so the next step is a lookup connected to a ramp. Um, I'm going to come back to this later and connect the level here. And yeah, connect that to the BG. No, call that BG, call that whatever you pl please. <laughs> okay, so that's the basic top network. And in the particles GPU, I'm going to add a sphere sop. Or like, yeah, some stuff before, but yeah, I'm going dropping a sphere sop in here and changing the rows and columns to 50 and 50 and connect this to a sort. And change the point sort to random and then connect this to a noise noise and then on the period change this to 2 the amplitude and the offset both to 0 0.5 um, no no actually not the amplitude to 4 that's that's it uh, and then connect the noise to the uh, sub input here of the particles GPU and if I play this, you can already see these beautiful leaves in the background, which we totally don't want. <laughs> At least I don't. Um, okay, so on the particles GPU, I'm gonna go to the presets here and change the preset to sand. And then on a recall, press pulse. And now you can see this looks like sand, I guess. Uh, change, change the resolution again. I don't want that. Okay. So far, so good. Now I'm going to change a lot of stuff on the other tabs here. So first on the particles page, change the max size drastically to 0 0.06. Um, 
and uh, we're going to come back to this page later. And on the forces, change the mag external magnitude to like something lower. And these are all like flexible, kind of just the way I did it. You can you can put in whatever you whatever you want. But these are just examples. All right. So uh, on the turbulence, I'm going to put um, three. 2.5 and leave it at 10 there and change the magnitude to 0.5 and um, on the turb speed we're gonna come back to this one later and uh, just change the z value to 0.2 all right um, I'm gonna change a few things later we're gonna start um, with the audio now all right, so I already, already have an, an audio file in here, which you can drop as well. And I've selected, as I said, the song that I had from my last video. And then the audio device out, which I've bypassed for now. And with the middle mouse, I'm going to attach an audio filter here. Whoops. Okay. Now on this audio filter, I'm going to leave it, leave it at low pass and change the cutoff units to frequency and change the frequency to 700. And um, to this audio filter, I'm going to add an envelope and change the width to one. Add a resample here and not change anything about that. Add a math here and um, change the pre-OP, no, not change the pre-OP, just um, change the combined channels to add or select add so we um, add left and right like the left and right channels together because we only need one okay now I'm going to um, like on the range here which you, which you can also do this is kind of flexible again as all the other stuff <laughs> uh, I'm going to change this to like 0 0.7 something like that we can see later what works best and uh, I'm going to attach a filter to this so to just smooth out the signal a bit I'm going to drop this down to 0 0.1 like the filter width and then connect this to a null alright now I'm gonna copy and paste this whole thing and on this audio filter too change this to high pass so all the high voice broke <laughs> all the high frequencies um, yeah pass basically this is a pretty rough way to do this but um, you can also do it for, for, with a band EQ uh, or rather uh, methods I guess but uh, it's just it's enough for this one all right so I'm gonna change the filter cutoff to like 2000 here and um, on the math change this to like 0 0.5 and this to like zero point this went to zero point two and one. Okay. And um maybe change the filter size a bit bigger. Uh with um alright. So now we're gonna use these to drive two different things of the particles GPU. So select the particle tab and make this viewer active. And now you can drag this channel onto the drag parameter here. Say chop reference. And now if I press if I by unbypass this, bypass and press play, you can see this is um reacting to the audio. So if I uh turn this off, you can see this just going mad. <laughs> and if I turn this on again, you can see this quite clearly reacting to the audio input and quite smoothly as well okay so um, one little thing to make this a bit more interesting this is definitely not necessary but um, like this is the, the drag thing is doing most of the magic but um, this is I think making it a bit more interesting as well so you can just use this high frequency channel and drag it onto the turbulence speed x so it's just kind of more input into the whole particles Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is drop a noise chop in here and call it T. 
HTTP because we're gonna want we're wanting to we want to uh, change this parameter the turbo period turbo period yeah. Um, yeah on the nice tab change the period all right change the period to like seven and um, now the amplitude to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and connect this to a map and change the range from 0 to 1 to like roughly 0 0.9 and 1.6 this uh, is something that or like 0 0.5 and 2 and it doesn't really matter you can just try out what you what you feel like is good and um, connect an L to this and then I'm going to use this uh, yeah, on the noise also change on the comment page change the time slice to on and now we can use this channel to drive the turb period so it just make this makes this whole thing a bit more interesting so this isn't always the same um, yeah all right so this is the main thing basically that we did now now I'm gonna oops now I'm gonna show you three more things to make this a bit cooler um, the first thing is uh, if we dive into the part particles GPU container here then you can see a lot of stuff happening in here <laughs> don't worry about that though and um, I'm just gonna show you a little uh, trick how to rotate the camera around uh, uh, about around the pa particles or whatever you have whatever geometry basically you have in there so um, what we need for this is an LFO I'm gonna call this LFO um, cam X and change the frequency to like 0 0.02 so make it rather small and um, add a math to this and change the range from like 0 0 to minus 1 and 1 and then minus 5 and 5 connect this to a null select all three of them and copy paste them and now I'm gonna call this one cam Z and just change the phase here to like 0 0.25 and pulse both both of them so now you can see they're doing stuff. <laughs> I don't want to explain the whole thing now, but um, yeah, we're basically building a circle with this. As you can maybe understand in a second. Um, here on the X form tab, select like make both of these viewer active, and then select the cam X for the translate X, and say chop reference, and the same for the translate Z. And what we also need here is a null comp. So on the comp tab here, select a null. I always make that one smaller because I like to do that. <laughs> and now just drag the null here on the look at on the cam one. Okay. So um, what's happening now? We um, zoom out again. You can see this whole thing spinning around itself and that also makes for a more interesting effect and this camera rotation thing you can use that for anything as i said um yeah <laughs> uh cool so what i'm gonna do now here on the ramp change the colors <coughs> um i'm gonna leave this uh, as black drop one in here and make that blue and make the white ones kind of red you just just play around with the color with the colors uh, whatever floats your boat here <laughs> and um, yeah the last thing I'm going to show you is a little trick to make this look even cooler so take a luma blur in here and connect a ramp to this as well and as you can already see the white parts here are blurred I'm gonna make this a bit stronger so you can see better uh, so here this part is blurred and this part is sharp so you can really play with that and I'm gonna show you how you can change the ramp to for example vertical 
then um, just uh, make this white and this black and drag it to the center and now you have kind of this tilt shift feeling so the center is um, like a how's it called like whatever you know what I mean <laughs> this this part is sharp and this part is blurred and this one as well I think uh, yeah makes this whole thing more interesting it gives more focus in the center all right cool so that's it you can um, yeah mess around as always with all the parameters um, especially play around with these values here so also the input values here because um, yeah the input audio might be different in your case so um, yeah and mostly uh, you can play here on the particles GPU because there's yeah I haven't even touched all of this there's a lot of stuff you can you can do here also you can try out the different presets and yeah whatever else you want to play with all right thank you very much for uh, watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments or message me on Instagram or whatever and um, yeah I'll try to answer that and see you on the next one